would that be a goal of yours to, to possibly uh, push the three minute rounds for one of your future fights? Yeah, absolutely. I would, uh, me and my team have been going over it. We're just trying to figure out what's the best way to go to the organizations about it. We don't know if we want to go over and tell them, hey, maybe we can start off with uh, 10 three-minute rounds, or maybe we can start off with 12 two-minute rounds. We we just still been trying to figure it out and um, trying to go the best way to where it's safe for the, safe for the other world for the other world champions uh, also and see what they agree with. And uh, I'm going to have a talk with all the girls who are world champions and kind of like have a vote on what they want to do because it's not just about me. I want it to be about the, the other women too and uh, what they're comfortable with. And I think that they need to understand that women will always get paid less than the men unless we fight the same amount of time. So with that, one of the changes got to be made, either 12 two-minute rounds or 10 three-minute rounds and just get that out the way for right now. And then we can focus on, you know, down the line, three 12-minute rounds or, um, you know, the same as the men. So, you know, I think that one of those has to change within this year to get us on a road to uh, equal pay and uh, equal, you know, equal opportunity as far as getting the big knockouts that we, that we can get. Uh, another thing I wanted to ask you is uh, regarding uh, testing. I know that the, now they're, they're starting to test uh, uh, using VADA testing, and I know if you've been doing it, since you were in the, the Olympics, so it's nothing new for you. But do you feel that this is necessary? Have you ever fought somebody that you thought might be using uh, when you fought them as a pro? You said, do I think anybody was using who might have been a pro? Yeah, that you fought against that might have been, you know, um, wasn't tested. Yeah, I, I'm not going to uh, do that. I, I mean, honestly, I don't know. I mean, um, I wanted a lot of testing for Hammer for some reason. Uh, we didn't have it for that fight. We only had it the night before and um, just our pregnancy test or whatever. But I wanted testing for that fight, but we didn't get it. Um, I'm happy we got the body testing for this fight. But I think every world champion um, should be due to body testing, especially after Mia St. John came out talking about some she was on PD her whole career and all this crazy mess. I think that every world champion, male and female, should be – um, should be open to do by the testing because it's just safer for the boxers. And um, I think that that's just clean. I mean, I've always been a clean athlete. And, I mean, I'm not going to say who I think do PEDs or who I think don't. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I really don't know. I hate to have to uh, spill people's business out there like because I don't know. I mean, people probably think I do PEDs, but I'm just strong as hell and work my ass off. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much, Clarissa. No problem.